So remember those pro-lifers we talked about? Those people, those, the, you know, the, the horrible... Those nasty, terrible, evil, horrible terroristic people, people who were trying to help women not have abortions and kill their babies and feel regret about it. And they were, like, evilly praying and singing hymns and, you know, pastoring to people. Remember them? Pepperidge Farm remembers. So those people who prayerfully prayed in front of an abortion clinic while singing hymns and all that, well, they are now facing up to 11 years. Guess what? They were found guilty. Now, they were found guilty of felony conspiracy and violating the FACE Act. Just remember, people from Antifa and BLM, no, no, let them go. It's... Yeah, setting buildings on fire and you know talk storming about, federal buildings. Yeah, and, t- talk about talk about uh, hindering someone from actually doing something. Right. Or all those protesters that were in the in the highways, yes, preventing yes, people from exactly. going to work and things like that. How many of those people are going to go get an abortion that morning? Right, and- good point. <clears throat> or they're trying to get to a doctor's appointment or emergency. Bro, we have a fentanyl Nothing. crisis in America. We've got national debts going crazy. We got a Congress who's inept for the most part. Uh, Senate as well. We want to go to <clears> war <throat> with Iran. We want to go to war with Iran. We're funding Ukraine and what they're doing and their awesome regime. Yeah. <laughs> but people who are praying at an abortion clinic have conspiracy, felony conspiracy. Cons- felony. Felony conspiracy. Now, Fox <laughs> News reports... The FACE Act, signed by former President Bill Clinton in 1994, makes it a federal crime with potentially steep fines and jail time to use or threaten to use force. To use or threaten to use force. I want to know where the force was. Yeah, to use force or to threaten Threaten to use. We're going to pray for you. Injure, intimidate, or interfere with a person seeking reproductive health services or with a person lawfully trying to exercise the First Amendment right of religious freedom at a place of religious worship. They were found guilty by a Texas jury of violating the law by blocking the entrance to an abortion clinic outside of Nashville. The DOJ added the felony conspiracy charge to it. This same law the DOJ used was also against the KKK back in the 1880s. That's where we're at is the DOJ is now finding time, money, and resources in order to go after those evil, awful Christian prayers <laughs> to, to give them 11 years. Now, just, we don't I know just, if they'll get the 11, but... I think they'll appeal and stuff, but... Yeah, they will. Listen. A powdery white substance found <laughs> in the White House. Uh, we don't right. know who's it is. Uh, we can't. We, there's a lot of people that come in and out of here every yeah. day. Yeah, because that's in in the White House. A right. lot of people. It, it was actually a, a private room. side entrance room. Yeah. We, no, we can't. But you've got camera. Well, the cameras were. It was blurry. Yeah, those same cameras must have been in what's his name's uh, jail cell. <laughs> What's the name? Uh, uh, Epstein. Epstein. Epstein didn't kill himself. Boom. Maybe, maybe all those jail people should be under the Face Act. Yeah, because they were. <laughs> Why? What? <laughs> you know what's right. funny, man? There's the same law. I was telling him the same laws being used in Texas against uh, a couple. Her name is Joey Lynn Massaro. She's. Uh, mm. They had their trucks pull up against the Biden bus and. They felt threatened and a Biden did. So then they're the using bus. that law against them. Yeah. Haven't convicted them of anything, but no, they'll just drain them of resources. That's right. Until they and cave that's, in. That's what's most frustrating is your tax dollars at work <clears throat> used against you. Used against Christians who are singing hymns and praying. Which is strangely like the UK right now, where you can get arrested for praying on a sidewalk across the from an abortion clinic. Do, do you see why it's important to be involved in state politics? Because judges matter. Yeah. Can this is ridiculous. Can we can we talk to the Christians who are like Roman 13? <laughs> can we talk to you for a second? <laughs> I've probably offended you and you're not going to listen to what I have to say now, but <laughs> we're to open that door. Yeah. Yeah. Let me reach across the bridge. Oh, I'm Roman 13. Right, I, I'm making fun of myself right now. So if if you use that argument, Romans 13, and we just we we don't get involved in the political sphere, we stick to the gospel. Do you recognize that you had an opportunity and you're losing it? If you would have gotten involved, 
you could have protected your rights so that you wouldn't have to go to jail. Truth. Now, maybe there's some martyr complex running through some of these people where, well, no, I want to get martyred. Go somewhere else to do your martyring. Go to North Korea. Okay? Just go there. Do your martyring. Do what you got to do to get persecuted. That's fine. I would rather protect rights of all people and give freedom and blessing to Christians to be able to pray across from an abortion clinic. Because when that freedom is there, right. more people will be able to go pray. And if you actually believe in the significance and power of prayer, wouldn't you want more people praying across from abortion clinics? Uh huh. But instead, if you don't get involved, it becomes harsher on you, so less people do it, so more babies die. You could well, that's that's kind of a wild swing. No, let's talk about that. If you're actually going to believe in the power of prayer, the significance of spiritual warfare, if you're going to believe in it, then maybe there is a reason spiritually that the enemy would want to restrict you from being able to do it. And you play right into his hands when you decide not to fight. <laughs> 